Good morning, bright and early. We are checking the Ketone Reader. This is a Keto Mojo. I do have like a link for them down below. Um, I've been really just making sure that I'm staying on track, keeping myself in ketosis, which anything above a 0.5 is good. So I did have my coffee. This is not fasted. Um, you guys know I'm not, I'm not fasting right now. Um, but I did have my coffee already this morning and we're sitting at a steady 0.5. So looks good. We're there. Let's see how it goes throughout the day, shall we? All right, my friends, Leo just got home. It's 9.15. He had work today. He worked last night and today. So, But on Sundays, you guys know on the weekends, I don't track my macros. I just kind of watch my portions and, you know, stuff like that. Um, you can go down to the market and get some fresh carnitas, which is like a deep fried pork. You guys see my mom try it. So Leo brought some home. I'm going to weigh out. I'll have some of that and I'm going to cut up an avocado, but this is what it looks like. So I want to show you guys because I don't know if you guys have ever had like a fresh kind of does before, but I don't eat this part. This is the skin. I find that so gross. If you guys eat that, Ray and Leo eat that. It's so disgusting. I just eat like the meaty part, but it's so good and it's just real. Um, That's awesome. I know it's super keto, but it's still disgustingly. It's really gross. You never even tried Cause it's disgusting. Like I refuse to try it. That's him and Rhea's thing. But I'm gonna have this with some avocado, but it's very, very good. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll have a tortilla with it too. Oh, there's no huh? No, no bottle salad I bought yesterday. Oh yeah, we do have some of that too. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut up some avocado, serve myself up some of this, but this is what it looks like. And if you can get it fresh, like when they first make it, honey, game changer. All right, so here is my plate. This is about four ounces of the carnitas. You can put sour cream, some salsa. Leo has a little bit of salsa, I'm gonna see how it is. And then I have one avocado. That's about 90 grams, okay? I do weigh out everything so you see my scale, but um, yeah, that's what it looks like so yummy all right so bear with me before you guys think this is gross i got this off of amazon it is the belgian cocoa hazel no sugar added it's from the good good i think right yeah i think so yeah it's from the good good i got it off amazon and it's like their hazelnut spread and it is a grand total of one carb per 20 grams which is really good this stuff is freaking delicious this is better than Nutella. This is amazing. Let me just say how amazing it is. When I got it and Rhea was home because she tries everything, you know, because she does it with me. And I was like, oh, you're not going to like it. And she's like, mom, let me try it. I was like, you're not going to like it. And she's like, we were fighting over it. She loved it. Um, she suggested to dip berries in here, which would be a really good idea. I'm just going to have it on one of these extreme wellness high fiber tortillas. So it's going to be a five carb little snack there. So, but it's so good. It's literally... It's disgusting how good it is. Like this could be a problem. So I'll link it down below if you guys want to get your hands on some, but holy hell, it's so good. Let me open it so I can show you. So good, it's 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 a travesty. So anyways, I'm gonna put 20 grams on this tortilla. I have my scale right here and then wrap it up and that's gonna be our little snack. And it's pretty filling too, it's so good. Okay, my friends, it's uh, about to start making dinner, so. We are going to do, so you're seeing this video on Monday, but I'm recording it on Sunday. And I like to make like good, comfy, like wholesome Sunday dinners. I always grew up having like big Sunday dinners um, with my family. So I try to do them with the kids and Leo as well. <clears throat> the only difference is, is uh, we're going to be short two kids. Becky and Sophie are visiting my sister-in-law with uh, Leo's mom and dad. And Rhea will be home shortly. She's out getting, uh, she's out visiting her grandfather and uh, my dad and stuff. So anyways, we have a couple cookbooks. So these are the cookbooks I have. I've been telling you guys, this is the keto comfort foods, obviously that Southern keto and then the Mexican keto cookbook. Okay. I've done like one recipe out of here. So I found this recipe that I wanted to make for dinner and I thought it sounded like really good. And it sounded really easy, to be honest. I like this cookbook because of the reason that the recipes are easy and um, the ingredients, you don't have to have like a buttload of ingredients because with that stuff, like it gets super expensive. So I'm trying to find, nope. Bourbon chicken, I don't know if that's a thing, but this is what we're gonna have. 
ground beef stroganoff and we're gonna do a cauliflower mash as the base. So we're gonna go ahead and assemble all of our ingredients. He, she's saying what I like to is that per serving, it's about 2.8 carbs, okay? So she's asking for about one and a half pounds of ground beef. I got about two, so it won't be too much of a difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and, um, dang it, I don't have any mushrooms. The hail. Oh, I think I have one left, so we're just going to use one. But, all right, uh, yeah, let's hurry up and get this stuff done, okay? Let me go ahead and assemble everything, and we'll start cooking dinner. So I need to know that I'm not the only one. We got two pounds of ground beef going on here, okay? Um, I went to the store this morning specifically for um, something for this recipe, right? I go to the store. I went for the mushrooms, I think it was. Anyways, I go to the grocery store for and an onion. That's what I went for. It was the damn onion, not the mushrooms. So I specifically went this morning, got completely distracted, bought everything other than the damn onion. <laughs> like, ugh, I should make lists. I literally looked at the cookbook this morning before I ran to the grocery store. But anyways, so it's not going to have an onion. I got onion powder and stuff. I'm not too worried. But we're going to go ahead and brown up this ground beef. First, this is going to be, um, from what it says, it only takes about a half an hour altogether, so that's not too bad. So while this is starting to brown up, I'm actually going to go ahead and start cooking up that um, cauliflower rice. She does have her own recipe in here for a cauliflower rice, but I'm just going to do mine the way I always do it. So, um, yeah, so you can do what you want. Um, again, we're just kind of going over it, but I really, really, really enjoy this cookbook. I highly recommend it. It's a really good one. All right, so I haven't jumped on here. You know, we're in the kitchen, we're cooking, you know, doing the things. And I wanted to ask you guys a couple things. So now that the weather is starting to cool off here, I'll start cooking up a lot more stuff in the house just because, you know, I know we're not the only ones, but I'm at this point where I'm so tired of everything on the grill. I mean, we've smoked, barbecued, just about everything that there is to do. So I'm really looking forward to more crock pot recipes, air fryer recipes, like comfort food, like recipes that I can turn on the oven for and like bake some stuff. So if you guys are interested in seeing like maybe um, some great crock pot meals or easy air fryer meals or like comfort food meals or like 20 minute or less dinners, I have a bunch of those because Sometimes I forget to start cooking because I get carried away. Also, let's talk about the book I'm reading. So I just started this book and it was suggested, like you know how um, Amazon suggests books. It's a little, it's a little, uh, it's a little spicy here. It's not like, like, I don't know. I just started it. So I don't know if it's like a dirty book or nothing, but it's called Nine Minutes. I don't know who it's by. Uh, it's a nine minute trilogy books. I don't know. So basically it starts off with a guy's execution and I'm like, what's going on here? And it goes into where this, I'm, like I said, I just started it right now and I'm like, this is pretty crazy. So it starts off with this guy's execution and goes into the summer in which the girl who's like watching her ex-husband get executed with her now husband, um, talks about this, the summer that she was abducted in like the 70s like 75 or something when she was 15 and it just kind of goes into their story like she's like retelling her tale and like i'm blown away right now like and ray is 15 you know she's gonna be 16 in a couple weeks and i'm like you ain't never leaving this damn house because stranger danger is real and my kids think like i'm kind of crazy because i always here we are just chatting like a couple of friends in the kitchen. Um, I remember when I was a kid, my mom would do this with like her sisters and stuff. She would have like, she would be like this, you know? Yeah, so anyways, you know when they would cook? Anyways, beyond the point. Um, but like I, my kids think I'm crazy because I warned them about the movie man, about Stranger Danger. And the thing is, is my mom always told me Stranger Danger isn't the creepy guy, isn't the burly biker, isn't um you know the odd guy walking down the street it's the one who could blend in and to always have your guard up and that's how i live and lived 
and that's how I want my kids to live. And she's like, you're always, you're making us nervous. Like, Rhea, Rhea swears to God that I told her that the Sears by our house is where they took Adam, Adam Walsh's kid. I did not say that. I said it happened at a Sears, but she assumed it was at our Sears. But I had to tell her, like, stranger danger, he'll snatch you if you walk, because my kids, you know, when they were little, they would try to walk away. You know, and you had to tell them, like, let me tell you what happened to Adam Walsh when he walked away from his mom and dad at the store. So, anyways, thought I'd just share that little bit of that book. If you guys are reading any good books, let me know. I was talking about them on Instagram today. So, anyways, we're browning up this meat. I threw in some, I had uh, one portobello mushroom left. It's a pretty decent sized one. So I chopped that up and threw that in here. We're just browning up this meat. This is a, um, like a grass-fed beef. So it doesn't, it's not giving off a lot of grease. If it did get off a lot of grease, I would probably drain it. But this isn't giving off a lot of grease at all, so. Um, but if you don't like, I mean, it's a li it's more water than grease, to be honest. Um, but if you guys, you know, want to drain it, you would go ahead and drain it. I'm still kind of weirded out by how I should give out, like, how I'm cooking these. That's why I'm not, like, just showing everything, because I don't want to get, like, I don't want to step in a pile of shit, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to get in trouble by anybody. So I'm just kind of cooking as we go. But... Again, browning up the meat, we got the uh, cauliflower rice cookie in the microwave. That's how I do it. And then I just toss it into the ninja over there. So, tomorrow's Rhea's first day. When you guys see this, it will be Rhea's first day of her freshman year. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I would love for you to do so because this week all the kids start school. And even though we're doing remote learning, I am gonna have their first day of school pictures. So you guys can come by and say hi to the girls. I hope if your kids are starting school or started school, I hope they're having a great year and, you know, everything goes smoothly, okay? But all right, let's cook this dinner. We'll chat some more in a little bit. All right, so in here is that bag of cooked cauliflowered rice, you know, the one I always get from Costco. I have about one ounce of cream cheese, a tablespoon of Carrie's butter, I have some salt and some pink Himalayan salt, some fresh cracked pepper, and I have a splash of heavy whipping cream because my mom always puts milk in her mashed potatoes. And I just gotta put the lid on here. If I can figure out how to do this. One day I'll be able to do it all on the All right. Okay. Oh I gotta plug it in. Damn it. Uh, I just added one more tablespoon of butter and a little dollop of sour cream. I'm going to add in some garlic because that's your business. And we'll add in more black pepper when we're done though. But I like them to be very creamy and decadent. So that's why I do the little extras. And this is like, you know, Sunday dinner. That's what you got to do. All right. So here is our mashed collie. Okay. You can see it's got an awesome consistency. And I'm gonna top it with just a little bit of parsley and some more fresh black pepper, but really good, really easy. And this is the only thing you gotta clean up. Even better. We have the ground beefs pretty much all cooked up. We're gonna start making it a creamy base. So we're gonna add in all the ingredients. Um, this is obviously cream cheese. I'm not gonna give you guys exact measurements because, you know, I like not being sued. <laughs> And yeah, we're gonna start adding the broth, but honestly guys, this is almost done. I remember being a kid and beef stroganoff was my jam, but my mom used to put it on top of egg noodles. You guys know those big white egg noodles? Oh, it was my favorite, my favorite. But all right, let's keep this cooking and we'll get Leo fed. Leo, I thought he was gonna go to his sister's to go get the kids, but he's gonna be home. He's been working like crazy hours and he has to go back into work tonight um at like one in the morning so he's gonna eat and then take a shower and then he's gonna go to bed soon so yeah just the way the way the cookie crumbles you know heavy is the head that wears the crown as they say right so let's get this situated and we're back so here is the like ground beef stroganoff the sauce i omitted a couple things like she had asked for some water i didn't add that um obviously i didn't do a whole bunch of mushroom and i didn't do any onion and i seasoned it with some onion powder some garlic salt pepper i think that was it real simple but yeah i did not add the water so 
that's that and basically what you do is you take this and you use your um, cauliflower mash as your base and then you put this on top and that's your gravy so it's nice and thick already with the cream cheese and everything this is a very decadent um, meal for sure it will fill you up quickly I can guarantee but let's go ahead and set up a plate and we'll be right back All right, my friends, here is that beef, ground beef stroganoff. This is Leo's plate, that's why it's so big. But it looks really, really good, really, really decadent. So we're gonna have Leo try it out, but it was really easy. So this is like home-cooked meal in 30 minutes and you cannot beat that. So let's go ahead, we're gonna set him up, put his plate down. I always feed him first. I feed him and then I feed my kids. That's just kind of the way it goes. Mama always eats last, but that's the name of the game. So let's get him on here and let's see what he thinks. It's super decadent, the gravy. It's pretty good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Like home-cooked meal, right, for 30 minutes? Mm-hmm. Pretty good, huh? Does it taste like a beef stroganoff? I've never had beef stroganoff. No, but it's like a stick-to-your-ribs kind of yeah, meal, right? It's good. It kind of tastes, you know, real gravy-ish and yeah. kind of heavy. Yeah. Okay. Well, Kinda there you like go. Kind of like biscuits and gravy almost. Yeah, like a country gravy. Yeah, yeah, yeah there yeah. you go. That's what I meant. All right. Well, there you go. He approves. All right. And here's my meal. I do mine on a paper plate because I'm the one who washes the dishes. But I just have like a little scoop of the um, potatoes or the cauliflower mash and then one ladle of the ground beef. My dad's going to come right now, so I'll probably feed him some of this too. But yeah. Leo loves it. He's like already halfway done. He said it's like a good like stick to your ribs meal, you know? All right, my friends. So here is our reading for the end of the day. Not bad. We were able to, you guys seen what I ate and we were able to not only maintain ketosis but we were able to go ahead and get our number a little bit higher that's what i'm talking about all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video dinner was a complete success i definitely recommend this particular recipe it was really good i think it'll be really great if you wanted to make even some of those drop biscuits that she has in her cookbook perfection this would be perfect for a cold winter or fall night definitely will be remaking this again um that nutella my dad just actually stopped by and i made him like a little wrap with it and he's like that's good he likes it he wants some so definitely recommend um i like i said i get it from uh amazon so it's the good good hazelnut spread and then i also like their strawberry jam i do know that if you shop on net nutrition i don't know if the hazelnut one's there but if you shop on net nutrition i know that that um strawberry jam is like five bucks on there as opposed to the 9.99 that it is on amazon just saying trying to save you guys some money um yeah so you just seen my i did the ketone reading so we're still in ketosis we ate really good today and we're doing really well so on the next video you will see you know workouts macros all the things but on the weekends on monday's video it tends to be the lazy keto day where we just don't count the macros we're just very in tune with what we're eating but i'm gonna go ahead and clean up relax i'm gonna read my book and enjoy the rest of the sunday i got something in my eye but if you guys are new here please subscribe stick around hit your notification bell all that jazz i'll see you on the next one take it easy friends